What's up everyone, coming at you guys with another episode of Reviving the All-Arounder and this week was pretty good. Remember last time when uh, I bought new grips and they were kind of small but I thought I could like stretch them out? That didn't really work. Uh, so now I have new ones from my teammates um, and they work just fine. Now I've ordered new ones so I'm waiting for those to come. I'm using his grips now and they're fantastic. Uh, I've already done like all my elements again. I haven't done like official half routines yet. But I did do all my elements and even some combinations and it's looking pretty good so far. This week I'll actually be starting full routines uh, on all the apparatus, so also on high bar. Uh, but I think all high bar will just be fine, I've already done all my elements and I've done that routine um, a couple of times in competition, so that should be good. Floor was also a little bit better than last week. I hit my first half routine two times, uh, last week I didn't hit it once, but this week I hit it twice, uh, so that's pretty nice. It's still uh, the second and the third line are still pretty um, not controlled but I'm happy that I can actually hit those hit those passes just get the landing not very clean but I can actually do it um, and when they and when I do the passes separately then they're just pretty much perfect already um, but yeah the first uh, the first half of my routine on floor is actually pretty hard with the second and the third pass but my second half routine is pretty easy it's a rollout two and a half punch half the Russians and the triple twist but that one's really easy now also the landings and just the twisting form and transitions to the corner I can really think about those things when doing the second half routine in the first half I can't really do it because I'm still too focused on the passes themselves but in the second half I can actually do that really easy also my dismount on floor the triple twist is getting way better uh, I've stuck a few of those and the other ones that I did had like a pace of one tenth deduction all right that's it for floor now on pommel horse last week I told you guys that I did separate elements and that this week I would be combining them again so I did and it went pretty good and my first half is really consistent now I haven't missed it uh, pretty much ever this week only my f my scissor full the first element is a little bit choppy sometimes but I can still like do the full uh, half routine after it so that's really nice but the second half is a little bit harder I can do the rough and then the tom five pretty um, consistent I feel like but the dismount after those two elements is still very hard uh, so I'm kind of wondering uh, how hard it would be after a full routine but I'm thinking it should be fine in two and a half weeks because this week I will be doing full routines and then I have all that time to build up my endurance and even um, train my dismount more. I'm doing dismounts every day right now because it has to be in there and the dismount by itself is just fine it's just pretty hard after routine. My first like two circles after the tongue fight are very piked uh, so I need to work on that and also the transition from the first half to the second half with a half shivado into the raw um, I think that will be a kind of a challenge too uh, but I've done that uh, that combination quite some times uh, just not in the last few weeks so I think it should be fine too but we'll see so in conclusion it was a very good idea to switch switch pommel horse kind of up and do my um, do my uh, elements separately and then combine it together and do the half routines again because now I feel like the elements are super consistent uh, when I do them on them own um, but when I do it in a half routine it's also pretty consistent I can actually keep my mind um, at the elements and not think about just staying on I can actually think about what I have to do the pointers so that has definitely improved and I'm super happy that I made the decision to uh, kind of take a break from half routines do separate elements and then go back to half routines so that's it for pommel horse now let's move on to p bars P bars isn't really that interesting this week. I've just done the half routines again and they were um, pretty much the same as last week. Only my moi improved a little bit. Uh, it still needs some improvement, but it's getting better, so that's nice. The first half is just really consistent now. So next week we'll do full routines. The only thing that wasn't really good this week was the straddle front. Uh, I did one training with a, like a crazy, crazy amount of um, front uprises. So kind of my collarbones or something, they were hurting like the entire week. I've done it on uh, Tuesday. You can see that in my full day of eating that I've done those uh, front uprises. So yeah, my collarbones are really hurting right now when I uh, support like this in the P-bars. And then um, when it's just like this, it's okay. But when I go a little bit deeper, then it really hurts. Uh, but it's getting better right now. So I'm hoping to do that again next week and also do my full routine without uh, the straddle front. I think P-bars, uh, the full routine is actually pretty easy because the first half is really consistent and the second half is really short and also pretty consistent. Only the Moi needs some pointers 
and I really need to keep thinking about where I am in the air with the dismount. And the last thing I want to show you guys is Volt. Uh, Volt, I've been practicing this new Volt. Well, it's actually the same Volt that I've done always, but it's with a half twist extra. So it's a Tsukahara with two and a half twists. The start value is 5.6, so my previous Volt was 5.2, so that's four tenths higher. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I can do it on a hard landing, but we'll see. I'm just practicing it because I have to practice Volt anyways. And why would I uh, waste my time doing the vault that I can already do really easy? So in the last week, I've only been practicing the two and a half twist, and it's going pretty good. Um, but I still think it's really scary if I do it on a hard floor. If it will like skyrocket in one training and it will stay like that and just be really good, then I'll probably do it. Um, and if it stays like this, then it's not really a safe thing to do, and also not a smart thing to do it, especially in an all-round competition where four tenths isn't that much like it's still something don't get me wrong i still think that if i can do the double twist just really clean that that's better than being really scared and having a lot of trip stress on me uh, to perform the two and a half twist and maybe even falling or even worse injuring myself but i'm not saying i won't do it uh, i'm just saying i'm playing it really cautiously and just doing a lot of that fault and maybe i can do it and maybe not then it's no biggie if i can but if i can it will be really awesome but yeah that's it for this episode next week will be full routine so that's pretty exciting also a lot of pressure on me because it's the first time that i've done like um full routines on every apparatus again uh, but i'm really excited for it and i'm just curious about like how how far i can come with it that's definitely it i'll wrap up now and i'll see you guys in the next one peace